Hi, my name is Mark and welcome back to my channel. For today's video, we will be talking about the concept and introduction to plane geometry. So if you are new to my channel, please click down there for you to subscribe. In that way, you will get updated for a lot of videos that I'll be uploading soon. So we will be talking here um, the introductions as tools for understanding the plane geometry. So let's start with the concept of points. So when we say points, it's actually a location representation. So say, for example, I would like to locate a certain city in Manila, then I would like to represent that in a certain plane, then um, I would represent that city in a plane as point. So consider that we have points A and B. Okay, so if you have points A and B, then... Um, there are two points. If you would like to connect a straight line connecting from A to B and extend it forever, although there's no such thing as forever as they believe, but if you'd like to extend that to forever as what geometers call it, then that is a line. But if you would like to take the portion of a line connecting from A to B, given in the symbol, then that is a line segment. So say the difference, line segment is different from line, okay? So again, line segment is just a portion of a line connecting from one point to the other point as present in the line. When we say line denoted by the symbol, that would be a representation of a straight line connecting from point A to B and extend it to forever side by side. That's it. So just to make sure, this is a definition, um, I mean the symbol for a line segment, and this is for the symbol for the line. Now, when we are studying with plane geometry, mostly we are only dealing with the line segment. Why? Because we are only focusing on the finite length of a certain object. The reason why we are introducing with the concept of points, line, and line segments is that we are actually upgrading as days go by when we study with a plane geometry, we are concerned with um, the study of representations of objects. Because to uh, make sure that we have understood on the right page, a geometry is the study of shapes, lines, uh, figures that are present in Earth. By the way, geo means Earth, method means of uh, from the Latin word um, measurement so that's it but we're not really concerned with that history and so on with the geometry we are concerned with the fundamental to tools present in geometry now um, now that we know already what a line and a line segment uh, is consider we have three locations so with let's say three points a b and c now in this case you have a b and c and assuming that a b and c lies on the same line so that means there is a straight line connecting to the three points so if those three points are present on the straight line we would say that those three points are collinear so they are collinear to each other that's it. Okay, so um, now that we know what a line is, say for example, we're given two lines. So assuming that you would extend that to forever side by side in such a way that the lines never meet with each other. So that means those are parallel lines. So if you would like to examine a certain point on a first line and a certain point on the second line would correspond to the same distance if you would pick another point on the first line and pick another point on the second line. That's it. Now suppose for example that if you have two lines again and you would extend that side by side until the, such extension would result that the two lines would intersect at a certain point then that two lines would actually intersecting lines. The point at which two lines 
intersect is the point of intersection. And um, one special type of intersecting lines is what we call perpendicular lines. So this is a special type of intersecting lines at which when these lines intersect with each other, they form like a square corner. So when we deal that with the high, um, the further topics in plane geometry or in trigonometry, we call that as a right angle. They are forming right angle, 90 degrees. So they have a projection 90 degrees to each other. Now that we've known what a point, a line, a line segment, an intersecting lines, uh, perpendicular lines, and parallel lines are, then um, those are actually uh, a concept of what a two-dimensional spaces are. So in this case, um, we will introduce the concept of what a plane is because a plane is a flat two-dimensional space. So it's a two-dimensional surface. So this is actually, um, um, say for example, uh, the Cartesian plane. So that is actually a two-dimensional space wherein you can move your points uh, from going to the right or to the left or to the up or to the down. So that is actually a representation of we, that we play here in geometry. But in the event that we're in, um, aside from just um, representing a plane wherein you can move right or left or up and down, whether you can extract outside from the plane or inside on the plane, that's a three-dimensional plane. And that way, if you might notice in the higher map, you would see X, Y, and Z as coordinates. And um, furtherly, um, if you would like to extend that to a more dimensional spaces, then we're talking a very complicated type of a plane, which is way beyond um, humans' um, way of solving. So uh, in, in the concept of mathematics, we are dealing with a three-dimensional case, and we generalize in order for us to understand further... Um, and dimensional space. So here, um, for the concept of geometry as an introduction to trigonometry, we will um, start with introducing what a ray is. So remember that we have um, two points that will determine lines and line segment. Now suppose, for example, if you're given again a point A, so, and another point B, and starting from the point A, there, um, you would create a line, a straight line connecting from A to B and extend it to forever. That would be a ray. But take note of the difference because um, earlier we have defined what a line segment is. A line segment is a, stra um, a straight line connecting from A to B and connect and extend it to forever side by side. So that means starting from B, it extends to forever, and starting from A, it extends to forever. That's a line. But po um, a portion of it wherein you start from A, you, do you don't have to extend it from the left of A, but starting from A goes to B, and B goes to forever, then that's a ray. Okay? Now, a ray will actually form um, an angle. If you have two rays at which um, the starting point of two rays is the same point, so say, for example, you have points A, B, and C as given by this figure. Now, um, if suppose, for example, you would have a ray starting from A to B and starting from A to C and extend it to forever because it's a ray, then that would form an angle. That's it. Now, speaking of the angle, we have different types of angle at which um, they differ from their certain measurement. So they are based on a circle. So suppose a circle is divided into four parts at which um, they are divided by means of having a perpendicular line. So say, for example, you have perpendicular lines. So that means they form a square corner on the intersection point. So let us consider um, two lines here at which you'd have the rays as um, 0A, 0B, 0C, and 0D. So let's consider, for example, 0A to 0B. So that means the rays 0A and 0B. That two rays form 
90 degrees. Why? Because an, a circle is measured 360. So that means if you divide it by 4, they are 90 degrees with each other. So the rays 0B and 0C form 90 degrees and 0C to 0D forms 90 degrees. Same with the rays 0A to 0D. Okay. So that is the basis there. So if, remember that um, two rays can form an angle. So which means the four division of a circle is already an angle. And in that case, if they form 90 degrees with each other, then they are so-called right angle. If suppose, for example, you would have a ray, let's say, 0E, wherein E is the point in between the points A and B. So 0E. So that me means that 0E forms an angle together with 0A. So that is... Um, a smaller angle compared to 0 A and 0 B. So that means that is since it's a smaller, we call that one as acute angle. Now suppose for example, um, you have a point F, wherein a point F is located in between B and C. So that means the ray 0 F and 0A forms an angle, then they are called obtuse angle. Now, the angle, by the way, 0A to 0C is actually an angle, and they are called straight angle. That's it. Okay, so these are so far the fundamentals that I know would be um, essential for you so that you'll be able to understand the concept of plane geometry. So if you think I missed something, you can comment down there so that everyone should know about, will know about it. And um, if you have questions or clarification, you can comment down there on this video for our, us to be able to discuss that on my next video. So thank you so much for watching and um, see you next time for the next part of this uh, plane geometry. Have a great day to you.